Hello ladies and gents, this is Evan. I'm your host in some really creative tutorials in the YouTube uh, and I'm gonna show you today how you can create the Brazuca Ball, the official ball of the World Cup in Brazil 2014. So I'm gonna show you how easy this can be done with the help of a little bit help of Photoshop and just a tiny bit help of Maxon Cinema 4D. So it's much more easy to do it with Cinema 4D and I'm, and I'm gonna show you how easy and how fast you can create this ball inside this fantastic program. So we just need to realize how easy we can uh, create this. We have to break this ball in parts and understand what we can do for this ball. First of all, we need the materials. Uh, actually, you can easily find them uh, with just a little bit of searching in the Google website. So I have found the texture for this ball. So this is the texture. So as you see, it's very easy to find this uh, design and it's more easy to, um, you know, uh, put this design inside the Maxon Cinema 4D. So we got, uh, we really need this um, uh, design to put this in Cinema 4D, but we also need the alpha channel for this ball. We're gonna create this alpha channel inside Photoshop in uh, one minute. And also we need the, um, this kind of texture, you know, this kind of uh, re really little uh, bit of dots on the ball. So we have to create two kinds of materials in one. So if you want to see how this ball is created, you know, the real ball, you just need to check this photo. You see this Asian uh, ladies, with um, with their you know clothes official clothes they are just put the stamps put the you know the leather on the ball so we're gonna make it we're gonna make this uh, much more easy and much more fast and uh, you know reliable and much more friendly to the environment inside the cinema 4D so let's do it right now baby so we go we need this we're gonna copy this copy image right click copy image and we go to Photoshop, we go to File, New, and you see already that we have the same uh, dimensions from the photograph. So it's 2048 pixels width and height. So we're gonna call this Brazooka Bowl. Wonderful. Hit OK, and then we go to Edit, Paste, and there we have our ball. So much more easy really simple and we have the ball so we can save this as save as file save as and we go to save this uh, i'm gonna save this uh, in a new folder so let's go to brazooka texts texts super so create and we go to save this as a jpeg brazooka ball design so we got this so we got the designs super design and we hit save so 12 high quality jpeg and now we're going to create the alpha channel from this uh, exact design so we go to select we go to color range we're going to select the whites fuzziness to 200 hit ok and then we go to select inverse so we actually right now selecting the opposite color from the white. So all the other colors except the white is selected. We go to edit, select fill, black, use black, hit OK, super. Control D, Command D in Macintosh for deselect and file, save as, as a Brazooka Ball design, but alpha man, alpha, yeah. Uh, so go this to JPEG and we're gonna hit save and so we got that as well So right now we have the design we have the alpha we just need the dots to make the texture So we go to file new We actually really uh, really need to create the same dimensions. So it's 2048 for width and height super we're gonna set this to uh, dots pattern and of course we need a pattern so we go to file new we're gonna make this really, really small, tiny, 50 by 50, super. We're gonna, you know, zoom this just a tiny bit so we can understand what is going on here. I'm going to unlock this silly layer over here by dragging this lock on the garbage. So long, my friend, boom, super. And we're gonna take out the rulers. So Control R, 
Command R in Macintosh and we actually need to select the move tool so we can see this spot over here. We have to have selected this show transform controls button. And right now we take this, we take that and we have a cross. And inside this cross, I'm gonna hit the default colors. I'm gonna take the rectangle tool and I'm gonna create, um, you know, a rectangle by dragging and holding the Alt and Shift, the Command and Shift in Macintosh. And I'm gonna let it go. Actually, I can do it this at about uh, 99, which is super great. And then I'll go and, uh, and select the Move tool and hit this tool and just rotate that and hit Apply. And we have our pattern. So we go to Edit and select Define Pattern. And I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna name this as Dotty Pattern, my friend. Super. And hit OK. And then we go to Dots Pattern and we're gonna unlock this beauty here. Boom. And right click, Blending Options and Pattern Overlay. We're gonna select this guy over here, the dotted pattern, my friend, which actually, you know, recreates a huge pattern. So if you if you feel dizzy, just hide this box and just um, lower this down to about 10%. I think it's gonna be okay, probably. Yeah, you see. So we got that. We're gonna hit OK. And then we're going to go to the layer, right click, we're going to rasterize this layer style so we can, you know, subtract this uh, design on the actual design of this layer. So now we can see this design over here. Super. And then we can go to filter, distort and twirl. And right now we're going to create a very, very design and stylish, you know, dot pattern with, um, you know, the dots to be twirling around and, you know, they're not so straight like the Chinese army or something. So it's really, you know, curly and super duper cool. Hit OK. We go to file save as and then we're going to set this brazooka, brazooka ball dot pattern. Super. Actually, I don't need to save this as uh, Photoshop. So we'll go to JPEG. So we go again, brazooka ball dot pattern. And we're going to hit save. Okay. And now it's time for Cinema 4D. So let's go and create a new project here. Actually, I will need to create a sphere. Well, if you feel strange about this sphere word, I have to tell you that this word is actually a Greek word. So as a Greek, I'm a Greek. This sphere means ball, means sphera in Greek. So uh, it means, you know, the sphere. So this is the exact word to use when you create this kind of roundy ball. So this is a sphera or in English sphere. So let's uh, work it on. Let's just create a new material. Well, before I create the material, let's just go to sphere and increase the segments by 60 so we can create a higher quality ball. So we go to create a new material. And now I'm going to double click this one and I'm going to uh, import the texture I have just created. So we go here, brazooka texts and go to the brazooka ball design. I mean the colors. Okay. So hit open. We don't have to move this anywhere else. So hit no. Super. And you see already with a color over here, we have just created, uh, you know, a simple texture for the ball. It looks good. It looks okay, but it looks fake, man. We have to make it. This looks better inside the Cinema 4D. So let's go double click again and uh, let's go actually to import a bump. So we go here and I'm going to hit this tab and I'm going to import the alpha channels. So we have the alpha here. We're going to click open. Uh, no again. And right away we can see that I have just created a texture on the ball. Actually, I can see some, you know, roundness around this area because the alpha actually creates a bump. It goes, um, you know, 
beyond the flat uh, levels of the ball so this bump actually do the trick i can actually uh, put a light to you know make this more uh, easy for you to understand you see this kind of bump over here this is the trick you know and this is uh, created with a bump you see so this is wonderful the bump did the trick and we are ready for the second phase so this is the ball i can uh, you know put a floor and i can uh, put the sphere a little higher with a shift uh, you know hold uh, so i can put the light more higher so we have just created you know an interesting ball and uh, it's good it's good but it's not the best so we go to shadow maps soft for the light when i hit render and it is okay so i can you know see that from the opposite directions you see the bump over here actually we can uh, increase the bumpness if you can say that way we can actually go and click inside this image and we can uh, decrease the white point to maybe minus four so it goes more harsh you see super and now i'm gonna do the trick and i'm gonna uh, put inside the dots so we go to create new material and I'm gonna name this bold text. I'm gonna uh, put this uh, inside the bump. So we need to, you know, bump the ball again. So we go to the dot pattern, which is really crazy design. Hit the open, no, super. We go to alpha and actually I'm gonna put this inside dot pattern again no and i'm gonna i can click the invert if i like so we have you know i have just uh, you know erased the background from the texture so this texture has white background but if i will put an alpha channel here an alpha with the same exactly texture and invert this thing it actually eliminates the background so i can uh, put this in the same you see already so we have two materials now i can do a render and see what is going on and so we have you know a really really crazy thing over here you see so uh we can actually mm, i think i can do that i can uh you know invert this one control i and save this you know it's gonna be it's gonna be much more easy for us so we go to dot pattern save replace okay and actually uh, I think I have to, you know, save this as a JPEG because I have just saved it as a PSD, you see. So, save, super. And now I can go inside here. I can uh, go to alpha, unclick, uncheck the invert and go to, uh, you know, the, the image. Go to reload, easy. And we go to the alpha and reload which is already done and it's gonna be much more better for us so it's uh, better but we have to do some extra stuff actually you have to go to color because the color actually uh, is visible here you see it's visible everywhere on the dots so we have to import the design of the ball yeah you got it so open no and voila the ball is really looking good right now but we have to actually lower the bumpness so let's put this to five or so and you see the ball is looking really really sexy and we can actually go in this here and we can uh, lower this to 0.7 and uh, it looks great and i can take this to three and it's super so it's done and this is the ball actually right now we have to um, put some extra lights if you like so i can select the light and i'm gonna hold the alt and i'm gonna import an array so actually we have just recreated several more um, uh, lights from one light okay i'm gonna put this higher i'm gonna increase the radius and super and I'm gonna hit the OK, the render button. 
So the ball is really, really rocking the place and it's super. So you see how easy it is to create the brazooka ball and of course with the, with the correct lighting we can uh, make it really, really sexy. So from uh, me, Evan, you have just seen my first tutorial ever uh, in Cinema 4D and everything else. So uh, from now on I'm going to show you many, many new tutorials in Photoshop and uh, Cinema 4D and After Effects and Illustrator and many many other stuff so you don't have to do anything else but to subscribe to my channel so see you soon my friends i'm evan from uh, greece and see you soon